Hello. If you ain't awake by now. Hmm. Peak awakening, I think. Uh, I was hopeful back a year or two ago. But since what I've learned, um, the conclusion I'm coming to is that we're at peak awakening. Those who have woken up are awake. And those who ain't are going to stay asleep. And um, why do I think this? I just think the opportunity to wake up has come and gone. For now. Like for this 20 year period or, or longer. Um, I think the, the elite who, let's face it, um, come on. They would love a world with a population a lot less. Like probably half a billion. Let's face it, the elite, why wouldn't they want that, right? Why on earth would they want all these plebs and peasants running around um, helping to ruin the environment? Uh, they don't. They won't. And you can look at the Georgia Guidestones. There's their plan. And they're patient. And it's not this COVID-19. This isn't a killer. This is um, it's like a mild cold, I think. Or maybe it's a bit worse than that. Um, but this isn't going to be the thing that does it. In their mind, you know, this is perhaps the plan. Um, see, you know, a test run to see how to see how it spreads and see how countries cope. And um, <laughs> and if we look at that, those facts of how it spread, you can't contain it, especially not something that has an is incubating in you and is spreading way before you show any symptoms of illness you know you there's no way anyone's going to be able to contain that the only way to test for it was with a blood test so it's not exactly a simple quick and easy test just to say oh who's got it um but back to my point for those who haven't woken up yet, they're not going to wake up. There'll be things to keep them um, in their, you know, interested in whatever it is they're into. Things will improve, things will seem better. Why would they strive to seek truth with all the trouble it causes? Um, in order to wake up. I think it might even be more difficult now because um, the elite know the sort of things that can wake people up and they will or already have made counter movements to obstruct that. You know they don't want everyone waking up and realizing the the truth of what they really are and why the heck are we supporting this system? But, you know, when you don't know, you don't know. When you're ignorant to it, you're ignorant to it. There's nothing you can do about that. And in a sense, there's nothing you can say to a person who's ignorant to wake them up if they want to be ignorant. And why, you know, ignorance is bliss, ignorance is enjoyable, you know, you can just enjoy life, right? So who's not going to want to just enjoy life? No one. You know, either you were cold and you woke up, or you weren't, and you're still asleep. Sleep in ignorance, in happiness, fine, that's fine, I ain't got a problem with it. Um, and the elite have their plan 
and their plan might work to a point, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna win out the day. What will win out the day is God's plan. God's plan will win out the day. And the elite don't know God, or they, maybe they do and they're afraid. Or no, I don't think they do. <clears throat> I think they think they're gods. I think they believe in some other god. The devil, the devil has probably tricked them because they're susceptible to that. They're susceptible to their own vanity. This is what I say about rich people. Why they might not go to heaven is because they they consider themselves, you know, to put up with that privilege, to accept that privilege of having millions of money. Um, you know, you live in your own secluded world with others who've got money and then you look over at the poor places and to justify that you are not poor or that you are a rich one you probably make up something like you know, they're, they're not fully human maybe or they're too dumb to, 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 to do what you're doing or they don't deserve it, maybe karma from a previous life, this is what the rich people are thinking. And um, and so therefore they, they separate themselves from the rest of humanity, which is wrong because all of humanity, everyone is like a, your brother and sister, a child of God. And unless you have that understanding that you're a child of God and everyone's your brother and sister, you're not really going to get into the wonderful, <laughs> the wonderful reality that we do live in. But we're in a very special time. And, um, you know, I think there was an opportunity to wake up in the last 10 years or so. All the information on the internet was at your fingertips. Um, and perhaps now soon, it will start to be, uh, what's the word, uh, censored. You know, the, maybe they'll be able to send, you know, they've got algorithms, so if someone's saying a certain thing, they could be censored. I've heard this thing called shadow banning, where they don't outright ban you, but they make sure you don't get any views. And I've quite possibly been shadow banned, sort of things I talk about, so I can't, I can't spread what I would like to say, and maybe the things I say could wake people up, but I can't really get out there. But even when I'm talking to people I know, you know, they'd rather stay in their ignorance and bliss, that's what they'll do. So, this is like my my message to the few of what we've got to put up with um, I probably won't be doing much or I might be doing some videos but they'll probably be quite different to normal over the next 40 days I'm doing I'm giving up cannabis for Lent I'm just weaning off the tiny last bits that I've got partly I know Lent's already started, but they don't count Sundays, so it's like ends up being seven weeks, but you have Sundays off. <laughs> I remember Yes, we were going into the wilderness, and then oh, it's Sunday, <laughs> pop out of the wilderness. And in some way, for me, giving up cannabis will be like going into the wilderness, because it's something that I've been using to understand the feeling, what's going on very much trusting in my feelings and when I'm not got cannabis I might not be so in touch with those feelings but I want to see as well maybe I will be <coughs> anyway so a couple of years ago I was very hopeful for a big awakening and if you've been watching my videos you may have noticed me say you know what happened to the women this summer 2019 was women's turn to peak and I was expecting more things from the women, it didn't happen. 
I started looking into all these waves and stuff. Women are at the bottom of a 2,000 year wave. That's why it's not happening. They're not at their full power, they're at their weakest power. But it is when you hit the bottom, it is kind of the best of times and the worst of times. Because you're at the bottom, it's the worst of times, but it's the best of times because all you've got to come is good. Uh, no, Charles Dickens wrote that was it 1660 odd, and that was absolutely correct for the man's wave in 1660 was at its bottom. So it was the best of times and the worst of times. So, the few. You're awake now. There ain't no going back to sleep. You wouldn't want to go back to sleep, would you? Um, and so, you know, you're going to have a rest. Take it easy for the next few years. Uh, you know, don't go along with all the bullshit. Stick to what you know, what you feel in your heart. Um, because come 2028 20, or whatever, that's when, um, you know, consider the last 10 years as a dress rehearsal uh, for what what's going to happen in the next in the next 10 years. So from about 2028 on, about 10 years, it's going to be another another big struggle. But actually, bigger things are going to be happening. Much bigger things. Look, read the fifth trumpet, fifth seal, fifth bowl. That's what's happening. Read the fifth church of Sardis. They're the people at the time. So there are a few who will walk with them in white. So I think, yeah, we're just going to have this few people who know. We've got the elite with their plan. And there'll be the multitude. And the multitude will go hither and thither. <laughs> And, you know, from this latest craze to that next latest craze. Um, I might be wrong, but this is the way I feel it's going. So maybe, um, you know, I, I don't doubt that we won't be um, helping to fix up the world and everything. Um... I think the elite now, you know, they, I mean, for a while, they've had the technology in place that they don't need peasants and plebs pretty much anymore. I mean, it might take them a little bit more to to get automated farming in process or whatever, but they're not far away. And, uh deadly virus might just be the thing but it's not going to it's not going to wipe out the population in 2033 um that's not going to happen until nearly 2090 right francis mm. i'm just doing what might be my last video for a while, just trying to get sh stuff off my chest. I've got, I've, got one. I've got to say what I think, haven't I? There's the time to say it. I'm going to say it when it's too late. Isn't that thing broken? Not yet. In 20 years time, we'll be looking back and saying, Did you make YouTube videos? Before they all got deleted? Why would they all get deleted? I don't know, they could. Imagine if they did. That's not what I'm saying, but... You, you've you woken up, haven't you? You're an awoken dude. What the fuck? You're awake. You that... call me a dude? Yeah, is that not cool? What? You're awake though, aren't you? Obviously, what's it going to be standing there? No, I mean, you're awake. in bed, didn't I? You're awake to the bullshit rat race. 
Uh, well, I don't know what you're on about. Rat race. Well, Ooh. everyone running around in their cars trying to make more money and... It's the rat race, isn't it? Trying to get promotion, get a better job. Like, proper proper neeks. Well, what the, proper well, neeks do. Yeah. Well, that's just neeks. Are most people in the world neeks? No. Not most? No. Aren't they? No. You sure? In the world? Well, say in your school, say in your old school. In my school, mm. most people are neeks. There you go. Because it's a village school. Alright. You don't think it'd be the same in Noah? Nah. Well, I know it's not. I live right next to it. There'd still be plenty of neeks there though, wouldn't there? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> you, you, by what you've told me, you were a neek when you were a kid. I was a bit neeky. Well, I wasn't really. I just didn't get suspended because posh. I feared for what my dad would do to me. You were posh. Yeah, I'm posh. I'm still posh. <laughs> you can speak the language properly and not be a neek. Communication is yeah, very see, important. Yeah, see, what you just said there was proper neeky. Was it? You can speak the language properly. That's neeky. Yeah, but what do you know? You're only 13. <laughs> right, carry on. <coughs> so I don't think huge amounts of the population are going to die in 2033. Um, but maybe they, maybe they will. But the big shit is happening in uh, just before 2090. That is the sixth seal. So all of you are alive now it'll be your next life but it's very important still to be awakened and have these be familiar with the the, the feelings that go on in the soul um, because the next time you get near to it in a, in another life you'll have forgotten all about it but you'll be you know God's plan where you'll be born and you'll be introduced to it again It'll be familiar to you and you'll pick it up again very soon. Yeah. So I don't know, did I say in my last video about the four horses? I think I might have done, like stages in your life. Like each horse is 19 years. And so I want to say something quickly about the book of Revelation. And it says just before the fifth trumpet is occurring and that, the Lamb and the 144,000 will be on the Mount Zion. Now, this Lamb, why are they calling it Lamb? I think they're calling it Lamb because it's God's Christ, but it's still immature. It's not mature yet. It's still the Lamb when it comes to the Mount Zion and the 144,000. It's not mature yet. Now, the next thing that comes out will be the rider on the white horse and that will be in 2128 the seventh seal seventh trumpet and that is you know that's when it's done like God's plan is then done there'll be no doubt you know and soon after that the beast the dragon and the false prophet get thrown into the eternal lake of fire oh no the, the dragon doesn't dragon gets locked up for a thousand years and then comes out for once one more go and that's uh, the devil who's uh, working for God, who's testing, test help, you know, testing people. It's, it's, it's all, it's all for God. Um. So the rider on the white horse. It's a white horse. He'll be under the age of nineteen. So when that happens, twenty-one, twenty-eight. The rider on the white horse. The reason it says white horse is because he's in a first stage of his life and he's got thousands of angels behind him on white horses huh, interesting uh, so yeah There's probably other things I wanted to say, but that's mainly what I wanted to say. Alright, bye.